Welcome back to our show. It's called Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a hilarious comedian who kept us laughing as the wise, cracking cold in the 90s hit sitcom Martin and so much more. Yes. Yes. And today he's busy with a slew of new projects on TV and film. And of course, he's always bringing the laughs here at The Circle and at comedy clubs across the country. <laughs> Please welcome the hilarious, my brother, Carl Payne. Yes. yes. Awesomeness. Yes. Uh, Come on. Uh, Y'all got uh, this music uh, playing. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Y'all got right what's now. up, babies? How, How y'all doing? Well, good, good. 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 How you doing? Wow. Yes, wow. yes. Yes, wow. yes, yes. Uh -huh. Carl Payne uh -huh. is back. How you feeling? Oh, man, I'm great. Life I love is awesome. those kicks. Those are good. Oh, thank you. I'm a thank sneaker you. girl. Off, you know what I'm saying? Got to come through with the old school Air Max Yes, on. yes. You know? Speaking of old school, yeah. um, the 90s era was great for, for yeah. black sitcoms, and I still look at Martin, I still look at all these shows. How does that make you feel to know that what you guys did so many years ago is still relevant? It's, it's, it's awesome, it's an awesome feeling. I mean, you know, like when we was doing it, we of course didn't know that it was gonna be what it was, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But it was lightning in a bottle, so yeah. you know, it's just a good thing. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Wow, yeah. And, and Martin, he just announced that they're doing the Bad Boys 3. Yep. Yes. And yep. I have to be honest, I'm going to beat this dead horse to death. Are you guys going to do a reprieve <laughs> of Martin? Come on now, right, give the people what they out, need. I'm, I'm, I mean, you heard it here first. I'm going to spill the beans. Ooh. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, he called me last week, actually. Ooh, this is tea. Let me drink my white telly. Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, he called me last week, and he, um, he said, look, you know, would I be open to doing X, Y, and Z? I said, of course. He said, so basically, we're going to do something. The gang gonna get back together. Yeah. We'll do a show, but it won't be a reboot. Okay. Because we all just collectively felt like it wouldn't be the same so without Tommy. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, plus, plus, you you can't. You, you can't, can't reboot you, greatness yeah. for me. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So we don't want to mess up that legacy, but we can create a new one. Yes. Basically, do something else, but keep the same team. Yeah. yeah. So, I love yeah. it. I love it. Yeah. What are your thoughts on just the evolution of, of, of black sitcoms? I mean, of course you have blackish, insecure. Right. What do you what do you what are your thoughts on that? Just the same question they asked me last time I was here. Y'all gotta get oh! y'all gotta get y'all gotta get new questions. Y'all gotta get new questions. Well okay then uh, what type of sitcom <laughs> would you like to create for yourself then? Um Wow, now see, that's a better question. Okay, well that's then, how about question. it? Uh, one Have that, me on the floor one, like that. Uh, <laughs> 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 you, know, you know, I'll come for you. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'll I'm come for right you back. when we get I'm here. Right back. Um, the, one, the one that that's on a, uh, that stars me. Absolutely. Uh, no, th I have a lot of shows out right yes. now, so it's, it's a good time, man. I mean, I basically took a year and a half and just dove into my craft in every aspect, from behind the camera to in front of the camera. And I didn't put my head up. Mm -hmm. I didn't stick my head up until now. Yeah. And and it's like, man, it, you know, over the next coming year, you're gonna get tired of seeing my face. No, we're yeah. not. I mean, no, we're not. Yeah. Tired. It's beautiful. Yeah. Not gonna be tired. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, aside from everything else that you're doing, we know that you're a dad. Absolutely. And you actually directed <laughs> your son in a movie. How yeah. was that? That was that was actually a really really good experience. Oh, you, okay. oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, we did a movie in Vegas. I sit right there. Mm -mm. You did a movie in Vegas. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. I'm done. Well, I heard the sound. I didn't know if we were supposed to just you watch talk, it. No, no, no. Okay, cool, you, you, cool. You're not directing this one. You okay. just talk. <laughs> All right. Oh, so this is payback Carl yes. Day. I see. Yes. I see. This is yes. payback Carl yes. Day. All right. Um, basically, it was, it was a movie about anti-bullying. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, it's such a huge epidemic in this country. Yes, it is. And so it's called Misguided Behavior. It's out now on Amazon Prime or On Demand. You can rent it. Um, and the experience with my son, you know, again, he, you know, he wanted to be doing, he wanted to do what I'm doing, and I basically told him, look, you got to work hard, you got, you know, really, and if he wasn't right for it, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't yeah, have let yeah, him do it. Right. Yeah. But, you know, like Will Smith has done it, you know, we've all done it, it's, it's about legacy. Yes, And it, it was a very important message, too, uh, to, to uh, tell the mm -hmm. story, behind the story about, because my, my, my youngest son was actually experiencing this oh. at the time that mm. I was doing this movie, and I didn't you even didn't know. You didn't know, okay. Wow. I didn't even know, so mm -hmm. it really hit home in a lot of different ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Talk a little bit about your upcoming uh, movie, Pride and Prejudice, on Lifetime. Yeah, yeah, Pride and Prejudice, well, I mean, if, if anyone has seen this movie, it's been remade several mm -hmm. times, mm -hmm. um, but... Oh, this is, uh, it's a really good movie. It's a mm -hmm. really good movie. And we, we kind of put an urban spin on it. Okay. And, uh, you know, Victoria Rowell's in it. And uh, it's a it's an all-star cast, actually. A yeah. mm -hmm. um, couple of your locals, uh, Ray Janae's in it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. 
it's, it's going to be a really good movie, and I play a really, really funny character. Yeah, you don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, but He's creepy, though. He's super creepy. Imagine He's that. So oh, my God. <laughs> Trina. She is bad. She is bad. Yeah. 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 So tell us about that experience. Yeah, yeah, okay, so it's second season, that comes out next month. Okay. Mm -hmm. Step Up, uh, it's Neo, Naya Rivera, uh, Faze on Love, uh, it's on YouTube Red, and it, it's a great, it's a great, great show, because it's like, it's like Fame 3.0, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they did a really good job at it, and, and, and it's, speaking of inclusion, they basically use a lot of female directors. Great. Uh, Debbie Allen. Great. Uh, you know, so so it, this has been a wonderful experience, and it, it shows people a different side of me. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. What's that? Well, I play I play Faison's brother, mm -hmm. who is uh, a recovering crackhead. Mm. Oh wow. Um, you know, who just can't get right. Yeah, Ooh. absolutely. And of course, you continue to sharpen your skills always on the stage. So Atlanta Comedy Theater. Atlanta Comedy Theater. Atlanta Comedy Theater. Yeah. Yes. yeah. All oh, weekend long, we had to do, we had to do, we had to bring it back. Uh, last time I was here, you know, it was Labor Day weekend. Uh -huh. we sold out all the shows. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. So we back to do it again. Yeah. Yes. Do it again. Start tonight, 8:30. Uh -huh. Get your tickets. Uh, two shows tomorrow. Yes. Get your tickets. All right. Two shows on Saturday. Come on. Get, get your tickets. tickets. Come on. Come Sunday. On. One show. Come on. I ain't get doing two. Yeah. Get your tickets. Love get it. your tickets. Get I'm money. here for it. Yeah. I'm here for it, Carl. <laughs> you are always amazing. You know I love you, bro. You don't see this weekend. I love you too. And if you're in the Atlanta area, be sure to check him out at the Atlanta Comedy Theater. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Get your tickets. Coming up next. Next, Chef Gernard is here whipping us a tasty New Orleans style. It's the yo-yo dance. You don't want to miss it. <laughs> <laughs>